think it's looked now than a, that a judge has says has just absolutely blown it up in the face of the whole establishment. I, 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 I think it, it, Novak's gotten far more support here now than he did when he originally came in. And that's what I believe the Prime Minister misunderstood the poll. Yes, most people were angry that Novak Djokovic got in here with an exemption, not because people care whether he's vaxxed or not. The reason why people were angry is because 93% of the population, let's say 70% of or 80% of that, did it under duress, did it because the government said you can't go to work if you don't have that. You can't, you essentially can't live. And so many people who tried to get exemptions mm -hmm. just couldn't get them. So people were not angry at Novak. They were angry at the fact that a celebrity who was coming here to obviously make money for the state was given this exemption that they couldn't get a hold of. Right even if they did have COVID. And although having COVID is probably the only exemption that's a little easier in Australia to get. But even so, often it's 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 almost impossible to get an exemption here. And that's what people were angry about. And I think when the, um, the federal government played their hand and it became this rivalry between the state and federal government, which both of them said they didn't want Novak here, but the state, um, the state health... Uh, uh, department or, or, or this special panel that was an independent panel created by the state who did review everything and did give him his his exemption before he came in. Um, the, the, it just became this pointing fingers where it was obvious that he did jump through all the hoops that were put in front of him that was set out and he did it all legally and still uh, they tried to uh, to... to uh, it, it's just an example of everything we've been through. The, the government think that they, the rule of law does not apply to them, and yeah. that's exactly what we've seen through throughout this pandemic here, especially in Australia. Well, it was nice to see a judge uh, stand up against the government for an unvaccinated person. You don't see a lot of judges doing that. Now, is there? I got two questions for you. When is the Australian Open? Is it today? Uh, I, I believe it starts on on Thursday. Okay. So it's coming um, up but quick. They did say Go ahead. They said they needed an answer by today for scheduling. So they needed to know, Australian Open said they needed to know uh, by today. This was the deadline. So the the, the, the judge was working very, very fast. This right. is one of the quickest cases we've seen. Yeah. Now, um, of course, every court has a court above it that an aggrieved party who thinks they got the wrong ruling can appeal. Do you know if the government is going to appeal their loss? In this case, I don't think there's necessarily an appeal process in this because it was an injunction. So the, the 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 route that the government still has, which right now is the talk of town, is that the minister has an a personal power to again go and recancel um, his visa, so mm -hmm. arbitrarily cancel the visa. And the process starts again, which essentially means he won't get into the Australian Open right. because there's no way yeah. um, it's going to be all done by this afternoon. So watch his space. It's important. I, my, my gut, I, I don't think they're stupid enough to do it. They've mucked. If you watch the trial, you saw the, the state fumbled the whole way through, even to the point of having ridiculous rep representation against two QCs and, you know, he threw everything at it and won and won, you know, in, in, in a, an amazing fashion. And at the end of the ruling, the, the judge um, made it clear that if they were planning on doing something like that, as in having the minister um, use his special powers, he wants to know. He wants to know everything that's happening. And I think that uh, it's it's almost a warning to the government. Yeah. Don't go don't go down that route. You know but what? You don't know, then, you know. then there's uh, private litigation. Like if you are the world's best tennis player, you're invited in good yeah. faith, you accept in good faith, you jump through all the hoops and a court says you're fine. And if you're blocked again, I would imagine the the breach of contract, the economic interference, whatever the tort would be called, get ready to pay that man tens of millions of dollars. But of course, money's no object to the government these days. 
That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.